Kevin, it was a pretty even game throughout going into the fourth quarters. What do you think was the difference for you guys tonight? Uh, we got stops. They were shooting 50% for a while, first half, in between um, uh, middle of the third, and ended up shooting 44% from the three. So that shows our defense came to play in the second half, 40 points in the second half. I mean, it's the second quarter, really. I mean, they had 24, 23, 17, three out of the four quarters. So. Uh, defense won this game for us. And then, you know, it's a make or miss league. It's about baskets and make 15 threes, shoot uh, 50, 40, uh, um, 77 from the free throw line. I mean, that's a good shooting night for us. And 27 assists, that's, that's what we do every night. I guess digging down on that defense, I mean, I think you guys were giving up over 50% shooting for most of the game. And then to hold them to 6 of 19, in the fourth, I think two of seven from deep or two of eight from deep, something like that. Was there anything specific that you could point to where the defense tightened things up, or do you think you just kind of wore them down over the course of four quarters? Yeah, we wore them down. I think um, uh, Jeremy Grant got hot there in the first half. Uh, he had 20 points in the first half. In the second quarter, he got going, but ended up with 29. Then Nurkic got going a little bit for him, which, you know, we got up six, then he'll, he'll hit a layup or – they just had timely buckets for a minute, and then you know we was able to uh, you know stretch the lead um, behind Seth and his uh, and his incredible offense that he provided for us tonight. So that was a back breaker for them, seeing Seth come off the bench to get almost 30. Um, but we just stayed poised, you know. They Anthony Simons four for 14, Jeremy Grant 11 for 24. We pretty much did our job on them too, because last game they had incredible games. Kevin, going off, the just what have you thought of what Portland's kind of done with the way they've retooled around Damio? You don't see a team contend for a long time and then go in the lottery and then you know be right back up in the standings the way they have this year. Yeah, I mean you got talent over there. You got down the line. You got guys that defend, from Justice Winslow to Jeremy to Josh Hart. Um, I would uh, I would call Dame a defender. Dame. Uh, Anthony Simons, you know, they got they got multiple guys that can get a bucket. And then you got three 20-point scorers on your team. That always give you a good chance to win basketball games when you got Ant, uh, Dame, and, and Jeremy getting you 20 points every night. I mean, your offense, uh, the game is about offense, to be honest. You got to make shots. Um, but you, they also add length and athleticism on their defense. So, um, But having three 20-point scorers is the reason why they did, they did good this year. Oh, sorry, Nick. Kevin, we were talking about poise the other night and Jock's focus a few times last week. Is there a point when you have a new group that's come together, when you're out there where you just know it clicks? Is it amount of games, is it amount of minutes together? What What is the, the tell, basically, there? I mean, it's hard to tell. It just happens, you know. It's just an organic thing. And you know, once we consistently stay on the same page um, every night, then guys stay in the lineup. Um, that usually helps. And I, th I think we learn each other every day. I feel like we, I got a grasp on everybody on this team and vice versa. And everybody got a grasp on each guy, and how they play and what they need to do on both ends of the floor. It's just a matter of us getting more reps in. And Jock is doing a good job of figuring out the rotations as well. So I think we, um, you know, we're farther along than we were a couple of weeks ago. And uh, guys are getting better. And it's, it's even better when you win games. It gives you more confidence. Um, KD, uh, you had a great game. But um, I, 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 you mentioned. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, my name is Paul from Radio Hebo Haiti. Um, I know that you mentioned um, the defense, but you, you also mentioned the uh, uh, the shooting of the team, right? Um, Seth Curry has, uh, had a great game. Um, Joe Harris missed, a, missed you know, some wide open shots. Um, do you think that has something to do with the um, zone defense that the Blazers played um, for most part of the game? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's, that's going to slow any team down. Um, I think um, they've seen how fast we've been getting up the court the last few games. And um, the league is going, you know, more towards zone type defenses, even though 
most teams don't sit in a 2-3 all game. You know, a lot of guys sitting in the gaps and a lot of guys playing boxes and elbows and helping the guy who's guarding the ball. So it's, it feels like a zone a lot. So we get a lot of work in different exotic defenses and, you know, um, going forward, you know, more and more teams play zone on us, the better, more comfortable we'll get. So they did a good job of implementing and slowing us down in the first half, um, but we was able to get some good looks. Uh, there in the second half and pull away. So you got to give them credit for switching their defense and being versatile as a defensive group. When you're trying to deal with a zone, how helpful is Ben's pace? I mean, when you talk about getting up court before they really get a chance to set that up, how key is that going to be going forward? Well, more so than his pace is about getting stops. We can't run and get have pace if we taking the ball out the rim every time. So if we get stops, then the fast break is going to open for us. But if we not, then we got to slow it down. That's just a simple, simple game. So if we want to be able to play fast and get out, get some quick, easy three-pointers up, then we got to get stops.